Now let's pack and get ready. No need to ask what's my favorite color. It's 1.30 p.m. Outside temperature is 37. And uh, slowly let's move. Destination, Baghdad. Let's go. Guys, let me confess. Let me confess. Even I born in Baghdad, but actually today it's my first time to drive alone to Baghdad. Driving alone. I'm so stressed. So most of the foreigners call it Baghdad. But actually, locals call it Baghdad. In English, we can call it Baghdad. Yeah, easy. Since 1991, Kurdistan has its own border with Iraq Federal. Today, I'm gonna use Kurdistan and Iraq Federal or just Iraq. I'm not into politics um, because I'm just a traveler. I'm I'm a tourist, not a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, politics here is so complicated. Like, um, and since English, it's not my native language. So I don't know which proper word should I use. So, yo. Momento, momento, momento. Let me grab some water. I'm so thirsty. Guys, I'm so happy and stressed on the same time. Do you know why? I'm happy because it's my first time to drive to Baghdad. And I'm so stressed also because it's my first time to drive to Baghdad. Do you know what is the relief for stress? Let me show you. This one. This one is the solution. Water. My travel route is driving from Suleimania, Aka Suleimani, as we local call it. From Suleimani to Chamchamal, then to Kirkuk, and to Tuzhurmatu. Skemanbek, Khalas, and then Baghdad! So part of the road is in good, in good condition, somehow. Here you can find a lot of shops, and petrol stations, and also restaurants. So no need to uh, pack in advance. So we are leaving Slemani. This is the historical... This is the historical wall of the city. So the, and once you enter the towns, there are many speed bumps and lots of speed bumps. Wow. On the road, you will see many seasonal fruits, so you can buy it and enjoy the bite. Kurdistan has its own government and uh, different than the uh, government in Baghdad. But um, both of them, they share the same uh, banknotes and same passport and also the budget it's uh, from Baghdad the uh, the financial is central it's from Baghdad the economy is central from Baghdad there is no official border between Kurdistan and Iraq so there is no border with visa stamp actually uh, there is one unified ID uh, national ID for uh, Kurdistan and Iraq federal so we local can just drive uh, with our uh, national ID between Kurdistan and Iraq Federal. Actually, right on the border, there are uh, two checkpoints, one controlled by Kurdistan military force and the other one controlled by um, Iraq Federal military force. All these pictures you see are pictures of our warriors who gifted their life to protect their country and also the world from ISIS. These pictures, we put them, their pictures uh, on the highway near the checkpoints. We are so proud of them. Without them, we couldn't be like live freely. So I just left Suleimania, aka Suleimani. It's five and a half hour driving all the way to Baghdad. Now we are leaving Kurdistan and entering Iraq Federal. You can see both flags of Kurdistan and Iraq Federal on both sides. Kirkuk is a border city between Kurdistan and Iraq. On the right side, there are so many shops and restaurants. You, you can grab snacks, food, or even like chill in a restaurant or a cafe. Yeah, but I just want to drive straight straight to Baghdad. Baghdad, 
directions. Ah, let's go. So we just passed the first Iraqi checkpoint. And uh, yeah, so in Kurdistan we had two checkpoints. Now let's talk about checkpoints. As you know guys, unfortunately in this part of the world, um, we went through so many wars and uh, instability. So because of that, we have so many checkpoints. I mean, a lot. I can't film them because filming is not allowed, but I want to be honest with you guys. I'm so happy to see all these checkpoints. Like, we are so happy to have all these checkpoints to keep everything safe and secure. So people and locals just can live our daily life normally without feeling insecure. So they are here to keep the area stable and secure. The process for passing checkpoints just make a big smile. I mean, heartfelt smile. Slow down and stop. Say Salaamu Alaikum or greetings. Yeah, usually just Salaamu Alaikum enough. And uh, pass your ID if he asks for. They might uh, double check it with their computer system. So they might ask you to stop your car in the front on the side of the road to check uh, your ID in their computer system or just by their naked eyes and they might ask where do you live like uh, where are you going why oh, it's not like usually just like normal procedure just passing yeah heart don't forget heartfelt smile is the key for passing all checkpoints usually because of my beard like I get stopped on almost all checkpoints um, even like in Kurdistan and Iraq Federal because uh, yeah <laughs> because why not but but I will keep it I'm not gonna shave my beard yeah actually beard is part of our tradition and yeah like even there are 4,000 years old sculpture uh, like Mesopotamian people grow beard since ever so yeah it's part of our culture and traditions don't worry if they stop you at the checkpoint it's just simple procedure so don't get panic if you see a lot of military on the roads on the checkpoint so now the most important thing let me explain to you about visa system so Kurdistan and Iraq federal they have wait 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 So Kurdistan and Iraq, they have two different visa rules. Foreigners with only Iraq residency can travel overland between or from can travel overland from Kurdistan to Baghdad and uh, Federal Iraq, while While those foreigners who are eligible for Kurdistan visa can travel over land from Iraq Federal to Kurdistan. I don't know if you understand it or not. Like, so you can check the list of those um, citizens or those nationality who are those nationalities who are eligible for Kurdistan and Iraq Federal visa on the official website of um, Kurdistan. Department of Foreign Affairs and Iraq Ministry of Foreign Affairs. A reminder, as I told you, there are two different visa rules. Let's check if that's checkpoint or no. So I just have to remove my camera as soon as possible before I get into troubles. With my beard, I get into troubles. And imagine filming in the checkpoint. <laughs> So first part, we will talk about Kurdistan visa. So those eligible foreigners for visa on arrival and uh, with, or those foreigners with um, entry permit, it's like a visa for those who are not eligible for visa on arrival. So yeah, those uh, foreigners can travel overland between, uh, like they can travel overland from Turkey and Iran into Kurdistan. Checkpoint. Yeah. We 
slow down and stop in front of him and just say salam alaikum. Yeah, so it was smooth process. Slowing down, stop or like semi-stop and just wave, heart heartfelt smile and salam alaikum, yo, good to go. But not every time. Hmm. Visa on arrival for those uh, foreigners who are eligible, it costs around 75 US dollars. While for the um, those foreigners who are not eligible for visa on arrival and they need entry permit, they can like um, get it with a fixer or the travel agency. It costs much more. So those nationalities who are eligible for visa on arrival for Kurdistan are are you ready? Three, two, one. Since March 2021, Iraq is open. Iraq Federal is opening for tourism. Yeah, so around 37 plus nationalities are nowadays eligible for visa on arrival. Only if they fly into. Wait, let me remove the camera. So the checkpoint, usually they just have Iraq flags and like, I don't know how to show you, but I don't know if it's clear or not, but you see like Iraq flags and like, yeah, the people slowed down. That's how you know it's a checkpoint. Yo. Let's not film anymore. Don't forget, heartfelt smile. Assalamu alaikum. Allah is Ali. Yeah, we passed. Nice. So as I told you, like these checkpoints are here to keep everything safe. So we all are so happy to have as much as possible checkpoints. To have us to have so many checkpoints to keep everything secured and um, controlled. And those nationalities who are eligible for visa on arrival for Baghdad and beyond for Iraq Federal are three, two, one. Wait, let's. Bismillah. Yeah, let them. Yeah, go, 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 go. So I can film. <laughs> foreigners, like those foreigners who are eligible for Iraq federal visa, should travel by air into Baghdad airport or Najaf airport or Basra airport to be able to get the visa on arrival. While if those nationalities who are not eligible for Iraq Federal Visa on Arrival. It's a long procedure and so headache. But it's not impossible. You might visit sometimes, a couple times. You should get an invitation letter from an Iraqi and then um, go to an Iraqi and then go to an Iraqi embassy abroad. Yeah. So we just made it to Salman Bek. Actually, like from here, from Salman Bek all the way to Baghdad, the road was so dangerous back in time, and uh, like so many people lost their life on this road, so many. But nowadays, it's safe. Okay, something went wrong with the car. Yeah, now it's working. I don't know. Maybe it's so hot. That's why the engine cannot. Like, yeah, so sometimes even the GoPro is turning off because it's too hot. <laughs> Remember, only bring cash. Uh, there are ATMs, but cash is king. The road is so bumpy after Salman Bagh. That's why you see like a couple of cars are driving on the opposite way. 
<laughs> Hopefully, we will not do any. Our tires will not blow up. Blown up. Yo. <laughs> Shit, this area is so, so many wars, and now the car is slowing down. Something wrong with the car. So the, I think something wrong with the engine because the car doesn't move. And this area, it was not safe back in time because so many wars happened. Let me update you guys. So I turned off the aircon and um, I don't know, it's like slowing down and after that, like working slowly, I don't know, like, so yeah. Yeah, every car is passing me. But hopefully at least I will make it. And you know guys, this is no man's land. This area, there are, there are no civilization here, you see? It's just flatlands and with electricity cables and that's it. So back in time, this, is, this area were one of the last places to be secured. And uh, yeah, it's too hot. You see it's 41, it was 42, 43, 45. And temperatures, wow, it's slowing down now again. Look at this hole. Boom. Boom. Hopefully, my visa explanation makes sense to you guys. If not, just drop a comment in the... Just drop your question in the comment section. I know it's very complicated. Uh, I know the visa is so complicated, but uh, yeah, Hakuna Matata. And right now, um, I'll keep driving. There's no people around. Except electricity cables and like some cards like this so hopefully everything will be fine and I will not sleep in the middle of nowhere so let me grab some water Salam alaikum how big a one? So it's working. I think. I think everything is fine. Okay, let's try to drive. Yo, yo! It's working! So let's continue our drive all the way to Baghdad. So we survived and we're not gonna sleep in these random shelters. But I'm not gonna turn on the aircon anymore. I just I just wanna reach like that, not sleeping like randomly and dogs eating me. Wow. <coughs> My problem is I have no idea. I don't know anything about the engine. I just know how to cut the steering and drive. So it turned out the car was so thirsty. You know, it was so hot, so all the water evaporate. And yeah, so after filling it with water, everything is working perfectly, smoothly. Alhamdulillah, thanks God. Well, there's 
it's a detour in the part of the road under reconstruction or renovation. Maybe. Final destination! I see you, final destination. Goodbye, final destination! Wow. So guys, part of the road is like what do you call it? How you call it English? One side, one way. Yeah, and uh, it's like racing right, left, right, left. Like as you see, like this guy's trying to go ahead also. So so complicated this part, but hopefully no accident gonna happen. <laughs> we are driving by Hallas Town. Previously, this town was full of uh, palm trees and dates full but unfortunately like you see like most of it got cut it unfortunately this is so the war we because of war we just didn't lose people but also our nature got destroyed like all these day trees like previously if you pass this road it was full of day trees and palm and now just empty this is so sad. And you guys, if you ask about speed limit, actually there is no speed limit. As far as I know. Just Sometimes when you enter like towns, there will be speed bumps. So guys, after five and a half hour driving, we made it to the last checkpoint to enter Baghdad. So the checkpoint was so smooth and uh, easy going. Uh, they just check uh, just uh, my ID and that's it. Like even they didn't tell us to go to check it with the computer and things like that. Destination Baghdad, let's go. So we are about to cross and enter through Baghdad gate. Wait for it guys, wait for it. So three, two, one. Officially, we made it to Baghdad. Yeah!